So the next example, well, I'd say, well, I like direct substitution, so why don't I just plug it in? Well, the problem is once we plug it in, we get 0 in the denominator, right? So we're like, ah, that doesn't work anymore. So then we have to go back, all right, rational expressions. We did talk about rational expressions in this class. One thing we always did is whenever we saw something that was factorable, we usually factored it, and that kind of helped us out, right? So let's maybe do a little work count below, and let's factor our denominator. That's going to be our numerator, I'm sorry. x minus 4 times x minus 1 all over x minus 1. Oh, look it. That actually creates a hole. And if you remember looking at the graph, the limit from the left and right is if they're approaching the hole, they're, as long as they're approaching from the same side, that's good, right? It's just a hole, right? As long as it wasn't a jump discontinuity. So what value, again, what we have is we want to find, so we want to find the value that this graph is approaching at that hole. So again, now we can go ahead and apply direct substitution for the remaining expression, which is just x minus 4. So now, when we apply direct substitution here, we have 1 minus 4, which is equal to negative 3. Okay? And if you guys, and also, the other way you guys can confirm this, this is the same thing as x minus 4. Do we know what the graph x minus 4 looks like? Well, we should be able to graph that rather simply, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, up 1 over 1. Right? Up one over one, up one over one, up one over one. Right. It's being shifted oh, down four or to the right four. Oh, wait, never mind. So you could think about that inside or you could think about it outside. Okay. Either way. But you guys can see the graph. And then if we want to evaluate for where is it at one, we go over to one, we'd say one, two, three. Well, again, remember there's a hole there. But what are you approaching? You're approaching that value, right? And it's approaching the same value from the left and right. Does that make sense? A little bit? Más o menos? OK. But again, you guys could verify that. If you plug that into your calculator and you're like, ah, I don't know how to factor. I just want to plug it into my calculator. Go ahead and plug 